Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video. So this video will be about HP 3, HP 3 land attack, and it is actually a continuing series of the HP 3. So basically, what is land attack? Actually, land attack is not that popular, uh, just like scene attack or ICMP flooding, but it is very much common in enterprise enterprise network or small ne or small home network or a school network. Basically, land attack. Uh, basically, the land attack uh, is the abbreviated form of local area network denial of service attack and uh, what uh, what is done in the land attack is basically uh, it essentially uh, are DDoS, uh, DDoS attack and in this type of attack you send the packet with the same source and, and destination as the IP to the same IP uh, actually this means that you uh, there is a case of the IP spoofing actually if you perform a land attack from uh, actually if you are connect if you are in a local lo local area network obviously this will not work in a WAN and there are lots of devices connected. Say suppose you want to perform this land attack to a device 192. Uh, the IP of the device is 192.168.0.103. Uh, so this is the IP. So if you want to perform, uh, so you want to perform this attack over on this IP only. You want to perform a DOS attack, denial of service attack. So basically, uh, uh, in land attack, it is known. Uh, it is stated that land attacks. Uh, this, the IP address. This is the. This will be the destination IP. And what then? What will be the source IP? The source IP will be same, uh, 192.168.0.103. And you have a question in your mind: How can be the source IP as same as the destination IP? Because this is the destination IP, and that I want to reach. And how could be the source? How could be the source IP same as the destination IP? So basically, what happens in the LAN attack is that there is a IP, a, a, a IP spoofing occurs, uh, or you can say uh, there is a there uh, there is a case of IP spoofing. Actually, do you know what is IP spoofing? IP spoofing means uh, suppose you are sending uh, some inner inner practical scenario. Suppose you want to chatting. Uh, suppose you want to do a chat with someone, but you don't. Uh, but you want. But you don't want to send your IP, or they can see see your IP that from your uh, from your computer or from your IP something is going. So in that case, you can do IP spoofing attack. And actually, what uh, what will happen over there is that uh, uh, suppose uh, suppose your computer has IP. Of 192.168.0.107, so the receiver will not see see this IP. Actually, you have spoofed this IP. This is someone else's IP, and you are sending to a target which has IP of 192.168.0.0. Sorry, .0.110. The what they will see that the all the requests or all the messages are coming from this IP only, and not this IP. But you have but in your computer this IP is running. This is someone else's IP. So this is the case. This is the case of IP spoofing. Actually, you have spoofed someone else's IP, and you are sending the message from uh, from their IP only, and not from your IP. So in LAN attack, the same things occurs. IP spoofing occurs. So, um, so in a local, uh, so in a local area network, there are uh, suppose there are 200 machines connected, and if and you want to perform the LAN attack on this IP 103. So, so this will be the destination destination IP as well as this will be the source IP only. From this IP, all the packets will go to flow through this IP only, and not from any and not to any other any, any other IP. So this is a type of uh, IP spoofing. Also, you can say uh, the, it is not sending some another IP from that IP. So it is sending the packets to to that IP only. So what is so IP spoofing can be done with the help of HPing three or the LAN data can be done with the help of the HPing uh, HPing three. And the command is very much simple. First, write hwing3 to mention the tool and hyphen capital V for verbose. And then, obviously, you have to round hyphen C or you have to write the count option and it, it specify how many how many number of packets do you want to send. So, I in this case, I will also send thousand packets. And then, specify hyphen D as the destination as the destination or not destination sorry as as the type of the packets or the size of the packets. So, I will. Uh, so I will make the size of the packet as 100, and then what? Uh, and in this case also the scene uh, scene attack is working. So I will mention uh, hyphen capital S for to do perform a scene attack, and then I will mention the destination port. So at port at which port do I want to target? So I want to target that uh, capital uh, port 21, and then I will. Uh, this is the, this will be the destination uh, the destination port. And then I want to. T I then you have to specify a source port also. Uh, and the uh, source port can be anything, whether it can be a SSH port or the TCP, any kind of TCP port like HTTP port or HTTPS port 
or uh, FTP port as is your choice. In this case, I am writing a T, which is a HTTP port uh, TCP based. Then I have to mention hyphen K, which preserves the source code. So after that, we have to mention hyphen A. So what does the hyphen A stand for? Hyphen A stands for spoof. So it will spoof the IP address, uh, the IP address which uh, which will uh, we have to mention. So in this case, I have, I will I want to mention the Kali Linux IP address. Suppose file new tab. Let's see what is the IP address of my Kali Linux. So my IP address of Kali Linux is 8.135. Let's start the Apache server. Uh, Apache server actually Apache runs on port 80 only. So it will so it will may give a result. So 180.168.8.135. So if you press enter, the LAN data will begin with the help of the HPing 3. Let's let's see what. Uh, uh, what mistake did I make? Hyphen S, hyphen uh, S for the source code, hyphen K, hyphen A, this poop the IP address. Uh, H ping 3 commands is okay, hyphen V, hyphen C. Uh, for thousand packet D for destination scene for scene attack. Why is this giving error? Uh, uh, actually, sorry. The uh, uh, what type of error I am facing is that uh, it's actually I am spoofing the IP address. So uh, I have to mention the source IP address as well as the destination IP address. So I have to mention. Uh, write the IP address again like this. So um, I have to mention the source IP address as the same IP address, so it's a destination IP address. So I have to write the IP address twice. So if you press enter, you will see that some kind of uh, packet is going. So this is basically the command. Actually, I don't have any setup in my home, so I can't show this type of attack. But if you have any setup or you or if you have any network to to do a penetration testing of this type so you, uh, you can do obviously so the command is very much simple so so this is uh, so this is the way how can how you can perform the land attack so i hope you will like this video so thank you for watching the video